Amen. Numbers, Numbers, chapter number seven. Numbers chapter number seven. Amen. Numbers chapter number seven. But unto the sons of Kohath, he gave none, because the service of the sanctuary belonged unto them, uh, was that they should bear upon their shoulders. They should bear it upon on their shoulders. We're going to talk about this morning anointed to carry this burden. We're going to, we're going to, let's, let's rearrange it for you. Talk to yourself and say, self, I was anointed to carry my burden. Not, not anybody else's burden, but I was anointed to carry my burden. Amen. Amen. The word anointed has often been misappropriated. The confusion is caused by the tendency to interchange the word anointed with the word anointing. However, the two words, though may be similar, they differ only in the source of who is causing the action. For uh, the Bible said, lets us understand and know that man can anoint. But only God can give the anointing. Let me say that again. He's called man to anoint. For he says, if is there any among you who, who is sick, let him call for the elders so that they may anoint and lay hands on you. But it is God who reserves the right of placing his anointing inside of you. Can I give you an example? 1 Samuel 16 and 13. Samuel anointed David to become the Israel's next king. But the actual anointing of David came in verse number 12 because God had hand-selected David for his calling. Do I have a witness? Ah, the reason why it is God that gives the anointing and not man is because if man was over giving out anointing, then man would only anoint who he or who he or she wanted to. It's all there in the text in Samuel because when they first came to Jesse's house, they, they did not come looking for, for David to anoint. If man had it their way, they would have anointed a more suitable person to become the next king. Because if y'all remember the story, David wasn't even invited in the house. In other words, Samuel, he did not even show up to Jesse's house to place the all on David's head. But get this, regardless of who tried to get, a, get your anointing, if your anointing is meant for you, if your blessing is meant for you, nobody can get or receive the anointing that God has for you. 